The manufacturing process of rear shock absorbers for loader rickshaws is quite intricate and requires attention to detail at every step to ensure quality and performance. Here's a more structured breakdown of the process. <laughs> One, material selection. Springs and tube. High tensile steel is typically used for springs due to its durability and strength. For the main tube, steel is often chosen, although aluminum or alloy may be used to reduce weight. Piston and seals. High-grade steel or alloys are used for the piston and rods, while seals are typically made from synthetic rubber or thermoplastic materials for their resilience and sealing properties. Two, machining and preparation. Tube and rod preparation. The tube or cylinder is machined to ensure a smooth internal surface, critical for the proper movement of the piston. The rods are cut to length, ground, and polished to reduce friction and increase durability. Piston and valve assembly. Pistons are machined with precision and fluid paths are created by drilling holes. Valve components are added to control hydraulic fluid flow and dampening, especially in shock absorbers with adjustable damping systems. Spring winding and treatment. Springs are wound from high tensile steel, heat treated to improve flexibility and stress relieved to minimize deformation under load. Three, assembly, cylinder and piston. The piston is placed inside the cylinder and the rod is inserted. Seals are installed to ensure no fluid leakage. If the shock absorber has an internal valve, it is also assembled at this stage. Spring installation. The spring is either placed around or over the cylinder, depending on the specific design of the shock absorber. Lubrication and fluid filling. The assembly is lubricated and hydraulic fluid, usually oil or gas, is added. Some shock absorbers are filled with pressurized nitrogen to improve performance and reduce oil foaming, which can degrade performance. Sealing. Once the components are assembled, the shock absorber is sealed to prevent any fluid leakage. Air removal is critical to avoid cavitation, air bubbles, which could diminish shock absorption. Four, testing and quality control. Performance testing. Each shock absorber undergoes a series of tests, including compression and rebound tests to simulate real-world conditions. Durability tests are conducted to assess long-term reliability. Defect detection. Any defective or substandard shock absorbers are identified and rejected. Automated test rigs are often used to replicate the stresses and loads the shock absorbers will face during regular use. 5. Finishing. Protective coating. To prevent corrosion and improve aesthetics, the shock absorbers receive a protective finish, such as powder coating or electroplating. Final inspection. Before packaging, the finished shock absorbers are visually inspected, labeled, and prepared for shipping to ensure they meet the required quality standards. Number six, packaging and shipping. The final products are securely packaged and labeled before shipping to ensure they arrive at their destination in perfect condition. This systematic approach ensures that rear shock absorbers are robust, reliable, and capable of handling the stresses associated with heavy duty use in loader rickshaws.